Our daughter Morgan is at the age where she's pretty mobile and she likes to put everything in her mouth. Like, shoes. So we needed a solution. I challenged myself to make something using only materials I already had. I wasn't allowed to buy anything new. I started with this antique pine I found a long time ago. I'm not sure if it's actual heart pine or not, but the color is right and it's old enough. I also had some poplar that had sat out in the weather for too long and had spalted, which is kind of a cool look. I ran the boards through the joiner, then laid them out on the assembly table to see what looked best. It seemed some termites had had a feast on the pine, which went well with the spalted poplar. I guess the theme of this build is neglect. I marked for biscuits, then cut the slots. I glued it all up and let it dry overnight. The next day I unclamped the panel and ripped it down to 12 inches. Then I used my crosscut sled to cut it into two pieces for some side panels. I also cut some scrap plywood to act as stretchers, then drilled some pocket holes in them. I've got a love-hate relationship with pocket holes, but they make cabinet construction really fast. I screwed everything together, then cut some scrap pine to act as a brace to keep everything square since I wasn't going to add a back panel. A while back, a friend of mine had given me some heart pine that he had ordered for a client, but then they changed their mind. I thought I checked for nails, and apparently I missed some. I feel like I hit like 25. I need a metal detector. Cut some styles and rails, then glued up a face frame. Then I attached the face frame to the cabinet with glue and brad nails. You'll notice my beard is not only stylish, but provides great pencil storage too. Once I had the face frame attached, I glued up some inset drawer fronts to fit. I had a partial sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood, as well as a piece that had some gunk on it. I ripped some pieces to make a drawer box in the shoe bin. I cut a radius on the side pieces for the shoe bin, then glued and screwed it all together. I used some scrap pine for the back of the shoe bin. When I did a dry fit, I realized the radius I had cut should have been twice as big. I felt pretty dumb. I fixed my dilemma with the jigsaw. I had some small gate hinges in my collection of oddities, but they were too shiny, so I pulled out the jacks to turn them black. I had enough of that same heart pine to make the top, and yeah, I hit more nails. I used the table saw to cut some rabbits in the pieces for the drawer box, then cut a quarter inch dado to fit the bottom panel. The rabbits make sort of a self-squaring interlocking joint. I put it all together with glue and brads, then slid the bottom in before closing it all up.
I glued and nailed some three-quarter inch spacers where the drawer slides were going. Then I tipped the cabinet on its side and installed the slides in the center of the drawer opening. I took the other part of the slides and mounted them on the center of the drawer box. I used hot glue to mount the drawer front temporarily in the opening. Once I had it where I wanted it, I attached it permanently with some pan head screws from the inside. I sanded the dresser base and finished it with Danish oil. Danish oil is a really easy finish and it's pretty hard to screw up. There's a little twist at to the top, and I took care of that with the jack plane. I also cleaned up the glue seam a little bit. There was a check in the top stemming from the pith of the tree, so I decided to stabilize it with some butterflies. I've also heard them referred to as bow ties or Dutchman. I don't care what you call them, the process is pretty much the same. I always cut my butterflies first. Clean up the bandsaw marks, then cut the mortise to fit the butterfly. I traced the butterfly with a razor, but I really need a marking knife. I usually chisel these by hand, but this time I wanted to try using the router to hog out most of the waste. I don't know if it was just me or because I was working with the softwood, but I found using the router and working back to my line with a chisel to be a little sloppier than just cutting the whole thing out with a chisel. I got some tear out around one of my butterflies, and it's no big deal because it's just for us, but it just kind of bugged me. I let those dry, then sanded and finished the top with Danish oil. Then I attached the top to the base through the plywood stretchers. I had bought some extra antique brass poles when I bought the poles for my desk. These are meant for the upper cabinets that are going in my office that I haven't built yet, but they came in a set of four and I only need two for the cabinets, so I didn't need to buy anything new. So there it is, the shoe dresser. I really like how much character it has and the fact that I built it all with materials I already had on hand. The only thing I'll need to purchase now are some new planer knives. I really need a metal detector. Thanks for watching guys.